Science you can try at home! Alright, so today what we're going to do guys is we're going to be making a little guitar style of thing and to do that we'll need a few things. Um, we need an ice cream container with a lid, um, a bit of masking tape, something like this is ideal, um, some way of marking out um, what you can see, so a sharpie, a black sharpie on a black thing may not work that well but we'll see how we go. Some scissors, um, a knife that you need to be careful with, this is one of those craft knives, and the strings for our guitar are going to be these rubber bands. These are going to go inside the box to reinforce the box so it doesn't get squashed when we put our rubber bands on it. So that's the first thing we're going to do guys, is secure some of these tubes inside our the, the uh, body of the guitar. Um, a sound box you might call it. Uh, so most instruments have that. They have a sound box where the noise is resonated and the vibrations that you need are caused by the rubber bands. Like that. So that's basically what we're going to do. Now, the first task. The, this, this is the easy bit. I've already cut these to size. We're going to slide one of these in here and just tape it in so that it's nice and secure. So that's going to be your first job. Yep, okay, so the next thing is to secure it with some of that tape. It doesn't have to be perfect, no one's going to see it. That is my thing. You mean I'm... Um, um... Okay, so once your box has its reinforcement inside it, that's cool. We're go what we're going to do now is make the hole in the top of the thing. Now you may need a wee bit of help with this, but you can do the first bit. And that's just to draw the hole that you want. So the easiest way to make a circle is to use the inside of some tape that you have. It could be the masking tape or whatever tape you have handy. And you just draw a circle like that with, the, with your pen. And that's the first thing we need to do is just draw that circle. So once we've got a hole drawn on the top of the lid, Use one of these craft knives very carefully. Always cut away from your fingers. And we can start a hole like this. Now, we can finish it with scissors. Once, once the first hole has been poked through with the knife, we can use scissors to finish off the rest. And that's the easy part. So what I'll do for you guys is start the hole for you. If you're doing this at home, you might ask mum or dad to start the hole for you but you can do the rest of it yourself the soft the plastic is quite soft and cut as neatly around that circle as you can that you've already just drawn and the hole will be end, end up around about the exact right size for what we want look at that pretty easy right so that's your next task pop a hole in the lid okay guys our next phase is really really easy guys so looking and watching and listening so all you have to do is pop the lid on nice and tight and you'll be able to see the tube on the inside there the tube's doing its job of keeping it nice and stiff now the next trick is to figure out a way to get our string stick on now we want our strings to be tight across but going in the same direction as the tube underneath because that's that's what the tube keeps it nice and rigid um, so we're going to have to devise a way of taping on our strings so we get that kind of effect so um, the tighter we pull them the higher the note we get so we get it's a little bit tricky there can somebody pluck that for me so we get the note pluck the string oh. pluck the string string oh. There we go. So that's quite a guitar -y kind of note. Two different notes there. So the trick then is to figure out a way. So what I'm going to suggest is that we use some more of this tape and uh, put a tab on one end and then we'll stretch it across and put one on the other side as well. Okay, so we found the easiest thing to do is try to find rubber bands that are long enough to stretch around the whole guitar and you get two and in this case we found two different thicknesses of rubber bands so we've got a high note and then a lower note guys if you're just quiet for a second the lower note's a wee bit quieter 
but you get two distinct notes there. I did mine. And you've just made yourself a tiny ice cream container guitar. Now, here's the cool thing, like a regular guitar, you can change the note a little bit too by holding it down. Okay. Yes, I did it. So have a, if you're doing this at home, have an experiment. Um, try uh, different size rubber bands, different thicknesses. One thing you could even try is putting something underneath it, a bit like a bridge, that um, can change the note that way and it lifts it up slightly. Um, one of those blue sticks like we had, pencil or a pen or a stick like we had yesterday that lifts it up like that would do the trick. Experiment, try things, see what happens. You could try adding more strings. Um, what we found is these little rubber bands here don't stretch quite far enough to go over the entire thing. But uh, see what you got at home. Uh, would one of your sister's hair ties do the trick? No sister. No, if you don't have a sister. Mum's yeah. yeah. One of mum's maybe? you ask, ask your mother first. Ask first. Always Can ask first. <laughs> well done, guys. Have fun at home. See what you come up with. That's awesome. Good fun. Now if you look at this really closely, you can see the rubber band is vibrating really fast. It looks like a, it makes it go blurry. And that's where the tone is coming from. That thicker one is vibrating more slowly so you get a deeper, na deeper note. Whereas these smaller, tighter ones vibrate more quickly and you get a higher tone. Thank you. Oh, the boys have had an idea of decorating their, their guitars, so they're going to use sharpies and stickers to make them look, look a bit more interesting. Mm.